As an elite battle mage in Immortals of Avium, you'll be able to cast powerful spells in myriad combinations to dominate combat engagements. I'm Tess, the Community Content Manager. And I'm Zach, the Video Content Manager. Today we'll be diving deeper into the various spells you can wield in Avium and how you can combine them to devastating effect. First up are your Strike Spells, which are your primary attack spell that you cast with your right hand. Which spell you use is determined by the red, blue, or green sigils you have equipped, and you can swap between them on the fly. Sigils determine the damage, reload time, fire rate, and capacity of your strike spells, but you can also boost these stats and make your strikes more effective by specking into various talents. Strike spells are quick to cast and don't use your mana stores, so you'll always have them at the ready. You can even cast them through your shield when it's deployed. They're great to combo with control spells for a one-two punch, or as we like to call it, the lash and blast. Control spells are your left hand powered support arsenal. And as a lefty, I'm glad we get to use both hands. As you play your way through Avium, you'll gain access to three control spells that you can modify and upgrade in various ways via talents and totems. Lash is your blue magic whip control that you'll use to grapple between points on the battlefield, pull yourself towards larger enemies or pull smaller enemies towards you then surprise them with your Fragfire or Bash strike to the face. Disrupt is a red magic beam that can be used to briefly stun most enemies, interrupting their attack combos. Highly skilled Magni can time their disrupt just as an enemy begins to cast a spell to cause a spell break, turning their own magic against them in a powerful AoE explosion. Limpets may seem like cute little blobs of green magic, but they can be used to anchor an enemy's movement through time, slowing their attacks and giving you command of the field. They can even be upgraded to deal stacking damage over time, causing your foes to waste away as they try to reach you. Like your strikes, controls don't use mana, but they do have a cooldown. You can improve the cooldown timing and the capacity and duration of your controls via talents. Along with controls, you get even more support through your augment spells, which allow you to manipulate and navigate the environment in and out of combat. Blink, your dodge. Hover, your stay afloat, and shield, the cover you take with you, are incredibly helpful for both defense and mobility in battle. Grapple and Refract are augments to your Lash and Disrupt control spells, respectively. Restore cleanses corrupted magic from the land, returning it to its original state. And Animate allows you to move objects in the environment that are marked with a green Animate glyph. Both are often used to unblock passages for more exploration. Using your controls and augments wisely with your strikes will let you counterattack strategically in combat, providing breathing room to use your extra powerful heavy spells called Furies. Fury spells are the ones we all can't wait to use. They're high damage, high impact, and can interrupt enemy attacks. They can help you clear out hordes of weaker foes at once with their devastating AoE damage. You can send enemies flying with Shatter, then pick them off at range with your blue magic strikes. Slow an enemy with Limpets, then close the distance and stagger them with Bash. Spell Break with Disrupt to detonate an enemy's spell, then clean up what's left with Blast Wave. You'll cast your Fury spells using both hands, and they will cost you Fury mana, so you'll need to crush mana crystals to restore it when you run low. You'll be able to upgrade and improve the effectiveness of your Fury spells through gear and through your talent tree. Add homing to your shatter spell so it will seek out targets, or apply decay to your torrent spell so it continues to do damage over time. Your most powerful, most devastating spell, the last we'll share today, is your Dominion spell called Immolate. Dominion spells were thought to be lost long ago to the Magni of Avium. Immolate combines all three colors of your magic into one brutal channeled stream that does massive damage to anything it touches. It has a massively high mana cost to match and takes extra time to cast, but boy is it worth the wait. You'll build up your Dominion mana in combat, slaying enemies, but you can also equip gear and unlock talents to boost the rate at which you gain this special mana, so you can obliterate your foes all the more. That's everything you need to know about spells and then some in Immortals of Avium. At this point, heck, you're practically an immortal. We'll have more info on talents for you in a future video, so stay tuned.